Hello? Hello, yes, I have Mr. Trump on standby. Are you ready? Yes. Go ahead, sir. Hello, everyone. Uh, we have the president here, our real president, everyone. Hello, Mr. President. MacronShow.com, bitches. Macron Okay. All right. All right. I Sorry, guess that folks. wasn't. I guess that was. You see what they're doing? They're attacking us. They're attacking us. And this is what, uh, I mean, that even came up. They're attacking into our phones. It came up that it was a legitimate, legitimate number. Call. So you opened up the phone lines. He was hit with a bunch of, uh, you know, prank calls, including one person claiming to be Donald Trump. And you see, like, that childlike excitement in his face when he genuinely <laughs> yeah. thinks that Trump is calling in. And then like just his heart getting broken in real time. Like you see it in his face, like, oh, look at how happy he is. He's so happy. He's like, it's Donald Trump. And then, oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Newsmax recently invited the My Pillow guy, Mike Lindell, to come on the show. And unfortunately, when you invite people like Lindell on, and you're worried about lawsuits, you have a pretty toxic cocktail. Get a load of how they reacted when Lindell started to go off on the voting machines. What, what happened with your Twitter account and the uh, company page? Well, first mine was taken down because we have all the election fraud with these Dominion machines. We have 100% proof. And then I, when they took it down um, uh, about my, three weeks my, ago, I, and then I put it back up, my personal, I put it, it was a Mike, uh, thank you very much. Mike, Mike I, you're talking about machines uh, that, that we at Newsmax have not been able to verify any of uh, yeah, okay. those kinds of allegations. Well, we just want to let people know probably, that there's I'm nothing not substantive that we We've seen, and let me read you something there. While there were some clear evidence of some cases of vote fraud and election irregularities, the election results in every state were certified, and Newsmax accepts the results as legal and final. The courts have also supported that view. So we wanted to talk to you about canceling culture, if you will. We don't want to relitigate the, the, the uh, allegations that you're making, Mike, because we, we, we understand where you are. So let me ask you this, do you think that this should be temporary because it appears to be permanent? Could you make an argument that it is temporary? What? what? Could you make an argument that this could be a temporary banning rather than permanent? No, I want it to be a permanent because you know what? They did this because I'm revealing all the evidence on Friday of all the election fraud with these machines. So I'm sorry if you okay. think it's not uh, Mike, real. I, I, can I ask our producers, can we uh, get out of here, please? Uh, I, I don't want to have to keep going over this. Actually, we at Newsmax Mike, have not been able wait, to verify wait, any of those wait allegations. Wait, that you're, you're Mike, a, hold on a second. Everybody hold on a second. Mike, Mike, hold on one second. Uh, let's talk a little bit about just what is happening <laughs> oh my gosh. I also love like the panicky moment where uh, the control room is like, oh, the, the, let's go to wide, wide. And then they didn't go to the wide of, of the female host and they went to the double shot. You see the <laughs> empty, it was so good. It was so good. Mm. I love like- That's programming. Like I've never been in such a threatening environment where I have to try to like dodge a bullet by jumping, but he tried to dodge a like a lawsuit bullet. He was like, mm -hmm. it's coming. <laughs> Take her, not me. Like you'll know, he didn't like push her out of frame. He basically hid behind her. No, she's still on camera. You sue her. I wasn't involved in this. What is this? That's just one piece of 1.2 billion lines of data from the election. Okay, there's within that will be timestamps of when of when it happened. There'll be flips in there. So we sent this to our own experts. Mm -hmm. He said that, that it doesn't show any specific actions of any kind, election related or not. And it's proof of, of nothing. Okay, so he said that's nothing, huh? Well, he's wrong. Then you didn't hire a cyber expert. Boom, got him. <laughs> Means you, I mean, what's up now, bro? You didn't hire someone, did you? We didn't consult just one cyber expert. We consulted nine top election security experts who told us Lindell's screenshots were extremely rudimentary metadata. 
and completely ridiculous. You identified 15 counties where the votes were switched. We contacted all 15 counties, Good red deal. and blue, red and blue, and we couldn't find a single person that said this is even possible. They say, are you mistaken? Right. They think you're wrong. Right. The bottom line is they have paper right. ballot backups right. That's that good. prove that they were That's not. Good. So you guys went and they let you audit there? They let you do a full audit, CNN? You guys did a full audit on 15 counties, huh? 2 and 0 oh for Mike on these <laughs> on these uh, posts here. Uh, he wants to make sure that that every one of these responses comes back to another question or then him saying, "Oh, really? So not really, huh?" This is this is the kind of privilege that we've seen from folks who think they can just give an answer and just because they said it with absolutely zero proof and without even looking into the details of this that they're talking about, that's just the way it is.